Hey everybody, Tour 4 here, and welcome back to Legacy of the Dragonborn mod bundle thing. Um, we are in the Blue Palace because between now and the last episode, we I added more mods to the, um, uh, the museum. And to do that, I had to take everything out of the museum and, um, uh, you know, come in here and save. Uh, things I added were the immersive armors, the immersive weapon, um... I added the children mod one, the RS children mod thing, whatever that one is. That one's just a graphical update mod to make the kids, it makes all the kids in the game look more unique and stuff. And I also added the, uh, excuse me, the moon and sun, I think, the moon and sun mod. Anyway, so let's just head out of the blue palace and yeah, we'll go, yeah, we'll, we're just going to go and explore. I think we're going to start by exploring solitude because... I don't know, we'll see, we'll see what's different. We'll look around, see if anything's different. Check out some cool stuff. Um, sorry if that's a bit boring. <laughs> uh, it's still late, so let's actually just jump forward like 12 hours so we can explore in the nice uh, sunlit solitude streets, whatever. Do, 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 do. I've been looking for you. Oh, hi. I've got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. So let's see what that was. Um, what was I just given? It's not this one, right? To the dragonborn. I guess this is me. Oh, moon and star. Okay. Hope this letter finds you well for Skyrim, Morrowind, and the Great House. Lalu, all are in need of your strength. A, gra a grave threat from my homeland of Marwen has migrated to Skyrim, and and though I nip at its heels, I fear that I cannot bring it down alone. Please, if you care at all for this land and her people, meet me at the Sleeping Giants in Riverwood as soon as you can. Mandolin Lalu. All right. Well, that is the Moon and Star mod, which we could we, we will do in our own, you know, just whatever time. Uh, hey, by the gods, it's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked yes, a dragon attacked Why run I know, it's amazing. What's up, dude? What's up, lady? Hello, I'm Gizli, but you can just call me Erica's sister. Alright, hi, Erica's sister. She totally gave me permission to call her that. Um, I know I said we'd explore Solitude, but as you can see, I'm quickly moving towards the exit. Um, so we're a mage, right? I don't know. Let's, let's get a nice weapon. Let's go see if we can buy a weapon. We'll go up to uh, uh, Be Beertrand, I think is his name. Beertrand, Beertrand, Beertrand. Beertrand. Seems there's no end. To what do you have for sale, mate? weapons and armor. Okay, give me it then. Weapons. Uh, mm, I don't really want any of this. Okay. Return anytime you need arms or armor. Let's go to bits and pieces and see what armor they have available there. Bits and pieces. It's a job that sells bits and pieces. I thought adventure, huh? Oh yeah, so here's here's some of the kids. They're all sort of semi-unique looking. Papa says right. I won't see Rob here anymore. Okay, bye. I guess it's been real. Hey. Aaron said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first. Oh. Yeah, you know it. A bit of this and a bit of that. Let's see. Ooh, steel war pick. That's pretty. It's probably not that good though. You know what? I think I'll. S I don't know. Back to bits and pieces anytime. <clears throat> I don't. I don't want any of those things. I want to find a nice two-handed weapon that isn't a great sword. I don't know. I'm trying to move for a great sword, I guess. So let's actually go to White Run, and we'll check out uh, some of the places there. And perhaps you know what we'll do? We'll actually go from White Run. We'll go around this mountain. Try and explore as much as we can, and then make our way to Ivarstead before heading up to High Hrothgar. I think that's what we'll try to accomplish this uh, recording session. We'll see what we can sort of do. Right now we're starting perhaps a bit lag behind the times, but that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Rawr, I'm a dragon. Hey, nice cutlass. I help my father. Take a look. Da, 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 da. Iron war hammers. You don't have anything cool. Until ah. next time. 
What time is it? 7 p.m. You guys are open, right? Yes! They probably close at around 8 o'clock. So I am just in time. What's up, dude? We've got small. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Yes! Oh. Oh me, oh my. Ooh, look at this greatsword, though. I am definitely buying this. I have enough, right? Score! Ha <laughs> ha! What can I sell back? Uh, here, take my ebony mace. I guess. Of life force? I don't know, that's really good. Took it off that dead thing. Take my iron sword then, I'm not gonna need it. We'll take the magical one. You can also take this wolf pelt, and you know, that's, that's it. Good doing business. Yeah, it's good doing business with you too, mate. You're 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 a real you're a real hoot. Sweet. So let's let's do that, and then we'll set the the iron nodachi to there, and we can set the ebony mace to four. Oh. Uh, so should we sleep for the night, or should we? Yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. So I'm looking at this, and I realized I usually go that way around the mountain, but I've never sort of gone this way. I mean, well, yeah, that just sort of goes up to Helgen, doesn't it? But I don't know. Should we go that way? Go to Riverwood and make our way up past Helgen? Might be kind of interesting, right? See what bandits we can come across. Try out our uh, brand new no, 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 no dachi thing. No dachi life. Okay, so we want to go this way, right? So sort of south by southwest-ish. Ah, damn it. Let's jump up here, shall we? Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Okay! So we have this. Oh yeah, check that out. We have this probably extremely overpowered ebony mace, especially by our level. So let's go try and beat someone's skull in with this. There's a mine right here, and this mine is usually pretty good for beating someone up. Uh, it usually has a bandit right outside. Uh, so let's, let's actually try the no dodge. I want, I want to give that a shot. Here we go. <clears throat> we'll just run in kind of full honky. Ah! It's a wolf. Hey! Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, that already went pretty good, if you ask me. Got some blood on our sword before we even wanted to try it. Win win! <laughs> Hello! How's it going? Fine. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I need to find some more armor. Uh, we're not gonna go inside, because, I don't know, it's, it's probably just gonna loop back around. Like I said, we're making our way sort of up around the mountain. I think we do need to curve just a bit more towards it. Because it's right there. There's a throat of the world. Uh, might be... I don't know. Well, let's, well, yeah, let's go with the path. Because we definitely don't want to... We don't want to, like, try and, like, butt shimmy up the mountain. Ah, here we go. What's this? Iverstead, right? Iverstead? Uh, okay, we'll, we'll go to Helgen, I guess. Hi, Fox. I'm not going to kill you because I'm not mean like that. You gonna take me somewhere cool? We'll follow your lead. Uh, no, I won't. I changed my mind. I'm not gonna follow a fox. What does the fox say? I don't care, because I'm not gonna follow it. So, that way goes to... Helgen. And what is this way, then? Where does this go? Is this gonna take us up and past the throat of the world? Oh, look at that cloud up there, derping. Uh, this is gonna veer right, yeah? <laughs> right? Uh huh. Mountains get a little steep. Um, no, I think we may have. Wait, what's that? I was gonna say, I think we missed our opportunity at Helgen to get a sort of leg up and over this mountain. It, it really doesn't look. It's not looking good. I really am not thinking this is gonna loop back around at any point. Maybe. What's this? This looks sort of... Nope, this is just a cave. Alright. Or it's sort of a hangout. What's up, dude? Here. Oh. Looks like we got ourselves a hero. Looks like we got ourselves a dead guy. Boom! Man, the dead woman! Yeah! He's a hero now, bitch. Ooh, a Tonto. Uh, okay, well. I guess that worked. I'll just take their shit and... Go back the way I came. Warrior! I'll take it. Thank you. 
Oh, it's been real. Have fun being eaten by foxes and shit. I'm gonna go back the way we came because that's the way we're gonna go. Because it looks like we gotta head back towards hell again. I really wish I had just a bit more run speed, but you know, beggars can't be choosers or something. Don't really think that applies to this situation. But that's okay. Uh, I want to try and not fast travel as much as possible. Only because, you know, doing all this stuff is fun. Just sort of walking around, killing whatever you come across. Oh, what do we have here? Hey, man. Task of the Wander- Oh, this is that wandering bard. I'm not going to talk to him, but he's cool. Um, so I guess we'll move up towards Helgen. Using what remains of our run run stuff. Our stamina, that's it, not run stuff. To make our way up there. We of course have the Helgen Reborn mod, which means at some point we'll be able to come back and sort of rebuild Helgen. Which I honestly thought should have been in the base game. Uh, and same with uh, Kavach during Oblivion. Because, I mean, you go to Kavach and it's just, it's on fire. Forever. Like, the rest of the game. It's just on fire. It's just terrible. But, I guess that's just the way it works. Just head into here. I don't think bandits have moved in yet, so I'm really not too worried. Uh, there's this guy, there's this dead guy that we, I think, we had to search the first time. We'll just do it now. We, it wanted us to do that the first time, but we didn't. We just went into the cave, because, I don't know, I knew how to do. So, Helgen's shitty. I'm really looking forward to rebuilding this when the time comes, but for now, we're just going to leave it be. And we're going to make our way to Ivarstead. Ah, there we go. We're definitely heading the right way now. To Ivarstead. Looks like we're going to pass a Stormcloak camp, which is fine. So supposedly, eventually there's going to be a shortcut coming. I think that that may be on the other side of the mountain. In which case, whoops, I was wrong. That's okay. We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to be right every single time. Um, Stormcloak camp, let's just use the rest of our stamina and move up. Uh, oh yeah, what's this? Where's this go? That takes us... Oh, okay. I know I know where that goes. We're not going to go that way. Nope, we're not. I think that goes to Orphan Rock. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Could be Orphan Rock. Could not be. Oh, hold on just one moment. Sorry about that cut. I had to go and deal with some stuff. I realize this episode is mostly walking. Hi. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. We'll fix Stormcloak once this I find that interesting. I mean, is it common to be, like, recruited specifically by Ulfric? Like, you have to make your way to him and be like, I am a son and daughter of Skyrim. And he's like, I am Ulfric Stormcloak. Tell me uh, all about you, blah, blah, blah. And you're like, oh, I hate the Imperials. And he's like, you're hired. And the thing is, it's kind of sad. I always join the Imperial side. And it has nothing to do with me like hating Ulfric Stormcloak and being like, ah, this rebellion is stupid. It's because as unfortunate Oh, hi. It's not like my poaching is hurting anyone. The Jarl can hardly eat every deer now, can he? No, I suppose not. And it's interesting because it's not because um what was I saying? It's because he's unfortunately fighting on the wrong side. Not necessarily, it's just the Thalmor are using him a hundred percent as a puppet, and it's unfortunate. Well, come on, horse. Guess if no one's around, you're mine now. Yeah! Yeah! Ooh, wow. Kind of like... I only get one side. That's fine. Making our way downtown. <laughs> Well, uh, I realize... Oh. <laughs> oh. I realize this episode was pretty much just me, um... Riding a bike. <laughs> I mean, riding a horse. And I do apologize for that. I, I didn't really mean for this to be that boring, but it was. So we're gonna kill these wolves, and we're gonna call it... 
Good! So thank you so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to do something not so goddamn boring. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, okay, bye!